Hi guys, it's Jonathan Weintraub from Team Space IL, and we're here today to talk about how, we gonna, how are we going to take a portrait image, that is, an image of the spacecraft from outside, um, once we landed on the moon. And here you can see an image, uh, an artist's view of how uh, such an image should look like, and I want to talk a little bit today about how are we going to take this image and how we're going to shoot this image you see here for real. Okay, so this is our spacecraft here standing on the moon uh, to its convenience and we want to take a picture of it from the outside. How are we going to do that? So many teams in the Google Lunar X Prize have a rover that is capable of driving away from the spacecraft. And they're counting on mounting a, a camera um, on top of the rover to take pictures of the uh, spaceship as it landed on the moon. The problem is we're using a hopper, we're not using a rover to travel the 500 meters on the ground, so we're not able to take pictures of the lander using a rover. We need to take it some we need to think of something creative uh, to do so. So how are we going to do this? I want to present two concepts uh, of how we're going to take this image. Uh, we haven't decided yet which one we're going to implement in our spaceship, but I want to take share some information with you guys. So the first concept here is just have a mechanical mechanism to deploy a camera and shoot it out from the spaceship and the camera will have some sort of uh, short range radio transmitter and as it flies uh, to the ground it will transmit images of the spaceship as it moves away so this image this concept is pretty nice uh, the problem here relays in the in the part that we're going to deploy the, the one that flies out it has many problems. For example, you need to have a mechanical deployment mechanism to throw it outside. Uh, in addition, um, since it's, it's deployed, you cannot have a direct power plug into that. You need to take a battery. Now the question is, how much watts, how much power do you need to draw from the battery to take those images and transmit them to the spacecraft? Um, another question is, the battery itself, how long would it last? As, it, as we are waiting for the landing to happen or, or we're traveling to the way to the, on, on our way to the moon. So we need to think about how much power we need here and how much, uh, how much we can store and, and this is a little bit of a problem. The second problem is we need at least two uh, of these mechanisms because we, are, we need to take a portrait image right after the landing as well as after the hopping to make the 500 meters requirement. So we need at least two of those. Another question that comes in mind is what happens if, if one of them breaks? We still need to have an option to take this image. So we might, have need, we might need to have more than two of those. And by the way, after we deploy those, then the mass properties of the spaceship changes because now we have a little bit of mass thrown to the side. So once we lift off or we make the hop, we need to take into consideration that the spaceship is a little bit have have a slightly different mass properties. So the third question here is how much will it weigh? Because if it's more than a few hundred grams, then it will be too heavy to carry, and once we deploy it, we will affect our uh, our mass properties severely. So these are the questions that we are asking now. These are designs that we're considering right now. The second option is to have a camera mounted on uh, one of the sides of the legs um, of the lander. So once, you're on, once you have a, a, a wide field of view camera mounted on the side of the leg, you can take images of the spaceship or the spacecraft um, on the moon uh, using a, a special lens for that. Now the problem here is, first of all, you have long wires coming from the camera to the uh, main computer there. Long wires have a tendency to have some um, electrical problems, especially when you're using a harsh environment. So we need to have a, a very close intention of how we make the wires and how we protect them against the uh, conditions of space. The other problem is we have an engine uh, on, the, on the bottom of the uh, spaceship to actually break our speed as we approach the moon. Now this engine may uh, shoot particles or uh, high temperature gas towards the camera and we need to protect it so it won't burn out. And the third thing here is that once you're very close to the moon, uh, some particles or dust are, is flowing from the ground and might hit the instrumentation as well. So these are the main problems that we're uh, encountering. One other very important problem is, as you can see here in the simulation, um, the legs absorb a huge amount of force as we are uh, touching the ground. Now, 
since we're touching the ground in a high, relatively high velocity, then this force uh, might actually uh, detach the camera from the leg and it will fly out and break. Uh, in that case, uh, we don't want it to fly, we just want it to stick on the, on the leg there. So this is also a problem. We need to see uh, whether the camera can absorb the shock of the uh, uh, touchdown on the ground. So these are the main issues we're considering right now. Um, these are the two main two solutions we're uh, thinking of. Thank you very much for watching, um, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.